Hey everybody, call me Felix, and we have finally reached the last leg of our street food tour of our hometown of Pit Digi Locos Norte in the extreme northwest of the Philippines. As you'd expect doing a small town street food tour, we had our share of hits, misses, and mediocre dishes. Let's recap the first three installments of the Pit Dig Street Food Crawl. In part one, we started our street food tour right, with a stop at the Mickey House for a tasty bowl of noodle soup. If there's to be any hidden gem we uncovered that day, it had to be the Mickey House, with its well-balanced medley of sour, savory, and spicy flavors. From then on, we were gradually floating down the river through the heart of darkness. In part 2, we had Taiwanese milk tea, in a place that's all the rage in Pit Dig, any local smoke norte for that matter, the local Yu Chill. We loved hanging out in the spacious garden while snacking on junior high school level cafeteria nachos and microwaved hamburger pizza to go with our cream cheese milk tea, which was a bit on the chunky side, albeit not overly sweet. In part 3, Warren and I did the Burger Disaster Tour, eating buy one take one cheeseburgers from each of the three burger stalls neighboring each other, Barbarians, Big Macs with a K, and Frankson Burgers. Warren promised a burger disaster, and his prophecy of apocalypse then and now was correct. Each of the burgers tasted the same, with the same formula, and beef that tasted like mystery meat. Now then, in the fourth and final installment of the Pit Dig Street Food Crawl, we're headed to the barbecue area for some of our favorite skewers and balut eggs. Even though the burger disaster Warren and I had partaken in was regrettable, it was nothing compared to what happened next when JP and Angelo received not one, but two rotten balut eggs. Could we find some tasty barbecue to wipe out the rancid taste of those balut eggs? Keep watching to find out. So you wanna go look at what there's to offer? Oh uh, yeah, well, JP, go ahead. Yeah, this is the, the place where people hang out. Fish. Mm. Oh, fish, huh? Yeah. Chicken, chicken necks. That was it. There's a uh, duck head. No, chicken heads. Oh, that's chicken butt. Chicken butt. Chicken heads. Chicken feet. Intestine. Intestine. So pork intestine, chicken intestine, and pork or chicken? No. Blood. Chicken, chicken blood? Which they call Betamax. The next wings. Yeah, I know the old Betamax. Next wings. Regular barbecue? Yeah. What's this? What has the lot? Barbecue chicken and barbecue pork. Same thing here, it says they have pork skin. Oh, the skin's at the bottom. What is that? Uh, butt. Ass. Butt. 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 Chicken butt. Yes, chicken. Yes, chicken. Let's see what else everybody else has. Mmm. We have longanisa here. Longanisa is the only... and the hot dog. That's the distance here. She's got the best balut here. Let's go to the stall that offers more. Okay, let's go to the first one. Barbecued calamansi, calamansi that has barbecued? Yeah, I think right. What kind of monsters do that? <laughs> okay, so I think you should have one of each. Can I grab one of these? A balut egg? Yeah. Oh, I have worn a, a balut egg. So, I've eaten balut egg before, but I think they're like the most pointless things ever. Okay, Especially, so. it's like, why in the world do I have to prove anything? And plus, it's a pain in the butt to eat. Where's the salt at? Is there salt? No balut. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, it's a pain in the butt to eat because then you gotta crack it. Then you've got to drink the soup in the oh, damn thing. And then eat the thing. Oh. <laughs> and then the other thing is, if, if your balut egg is too um, I forgot how to agent. open this. Is it, how do you know which one to open? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> JP's Filipino Ness is like bottom. losing it. <laughs> he's been here for six years and yet he's Five. doesn't know how to crack his balut egg. There's no salt. You want to put salt? 
Where's the salt at? I opened it the wrong way, Warren. What'd you do? I opened it. He told me to put it this way. See, Warren's not gonna be either. Uh, and then you drink the soup out of it. Is it gonna come out if I open this part up? Yes. Oh, it is. Yeah. So this is the reason why I don't eat balloon eggs. It's not, <laughs> this is the actual reason because it's too. There's a messy procedure as to how to eat them in the first place. And then you just put some vinegar and onion. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's coming from the other side. After eating three burgers, Warren can only fit one blue egg. With sabaw. Here. This one can boost No, this is not. <laughs> Who'd you buy it from? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's sira. Sira? Sira? Yeah. Sira? Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you about my experience. <laughs> you got a bad balloon egg? Yeah, it's rotten. It's a rotten balloon egg! So these things still happen, everyone. You can still get a rotten balloon egg. How was your um, balloon egg, Warren? Was it... Um... Yeah, it's good. Oh my gosh, now I'm scared. Dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, here, here goes. Here goes number, number two. two. Let's see if it's not rotten. God, it I like stays in your mouth. Nasty rotten. But they're nice enough to get How does it out. taste like a rotten one? I oh never had God. a rotten balloon egg in my life. It tastes like an old rotten hot egg. It just tastes nasty. Does it taste like the garbage? It like it's like licking uh, a dump truck that's been sitting out in like 105 heat. Oh, for like the last 40 days. Oh, yeah. That is a good description. Yeah. Some people say durian tastes like that. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> but... Come here, baby. Come here. All right, so you got two rotten eggs. <laughs> so Warren not is Angela wondering more. if he ate rotten Well, one. the good thing about Warren is that tomorrow's his day off, so if he gets sick, he'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I'm immune. It's like a uh, normal balut. What does a normal balut taste like? So you like won the lottery. You better play wedding tomorrow. Mm -hmm. oh, you got the right one. Yeah. It basically tastes like a hard boiled egg and chicken soup, right? If it tastes like that, then you got a good balut egg. Mm. You can just tell by the soup that's the yeah. water in it. The soup. Yeah, basically a good balut egg will taste like a hard boiled egg mixed in with chicken soup. And that's all it is, guys. That's all it is. And that's the reason why I don't think it's even worth even proving my Filipino-ness or whatever. That's no, kind of stupid. I just like the, I like the look. It's just the fact that... Mm-hmm. That lady was like, Here's one little quirk or a little oddity. Sometimes the, the tissue or the napkins come in the form of toilet paper. <laughs> as long as it works, I guess. Better than using a banana leaf. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, you got meat too. I didn't know that. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> That's yours? Okay. Let me see. I got one of the... Is this porky so? This looks like... Or this is porky so. This is the chicken -y so. This is the butt. The butt! And then this is the chicken barbecue. And this is... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Play the guessing game later. <laughs> Human butt. All right, some chicken isao, and we're just gonna. Here, why don't you do it, Warren? Do the did you, honors. Did you of say this... that the theme of this um, barbecue place is uh, Hello Kitty, so the plates are all Hello Kitty out? Yeah, this is the uh, barbecue. <laughs> this is the barbecue owned by Candy. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so Warren has just doused everything in some onion vinegar. And I think I'll try this chicken isao first. Not bad. Mm, I feel like it's a little overdone. But it tastes clean. It does taste creamy. There's not really much livery taste going on. It's not bad. I didn't really get much of that vinegar either. So it doesn't taste acidic. 
No ball. No. JP was saying how some of these like intestines look like they're bulked up a bit. So far the chicken needs out it tastes clean. So there's nothing clean? like creamy. In. Pretty creamy. Um I like usually like a charring on there. So then it's a little bit crisp. Mm -hmm. Um, does it have that? Looks like it does. It's kind of like, it's a little overdone though. Yeah. Just a wee bit. But, pretty good. Rich, creamy, doesn't have um, a disgusting like irony flavor or anything. Doesn't have do that. No? Okay. Hey Snowball! Thanks for not begging. <laughs> Go bother Angelo. Angelo loves Snowy. Hmm? Okay. I think this is the pork bungs or pork intestine. So I can, this feels like or looks like a pork barbecue skewer. And JP was saying it looks bulked up because maybe there's some gunk in there. Let's use the American expression of gunk. So Creamy if you know goodness. what gunk means. Which I think I just had my taste in the rotten bullet, but let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see what tastes worse. <laughs> Does it have that musty taste to it? A little bit. Uh, a little bit. But I'm getting more of a crispy chewiness out of the grilled pork isau. The chicken? Mm-hmm. At the very end they put chicken chicken skin. Oh yeah? It's really good. Yeah, this is pretty clean. It's not bad at all. Mm. They're pretty good. Miki milky. It's not like juicy or anything like that, but hmm? nice crispiness from the grilling, a bit of chewiness. The more you chew, it doesn't release really any juice, but it's good thing it's clean. <laughs> and the sauce doesn't, it's just coated in the exterior. It hasn't sifted through. I don't know about me about this, but this onion vinegar doesn't really do much of anything. It doesn't add any acidity. We get a little of that pork intestine. They're chewing it for quite a bit. Yeah, still chewing. I'm still going. Hey, Snowball, you remember there was this commercial in the States where like that kid feeds the dog the peanut butter and then that dog keeps on like still tries to slurp the peanut butter down but she can't do it and so it goes on all commercial long that got milk commercial how oh, it would have been better if she drank the milk and then that peanut butter is no more this is what I feel like right now and thankfully I can share that thought with you okay <laughs> man it's still going Okay. Ugh, hit swallow that one. All right. <laughs> I just think that was a little too dense though. Clean, thankfully, but dense. All right. The bishop's beak, which is the chicken butt. Bishop's what? Chicken butt. So it's the bishop's beak. Mm hmm. You got that good crispness of like, you know, how chicken butt kind of tastes fatty and crispy. Has that, but I feel it's overdone. It's, you can see how small them butts are. Finally, the vinegar comes in with the spice. Ooh, it's a little spicy. I like it. A little too uneven. What are you doing, Warren? Stop, hold, stop holding stray dogs that aren't clean, okay? Even though they're familiar with us. No? Aww. 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 Don't do that. What's we doing when you get home, okay? Stop. You want, you want to eat this? No. Oh. Later. Mm. So, boy. So, you had the chicken butt. How was that? This? The spicy vinegar finally kicked in. Okay. And added some spice, which we really needed. It's a little too um, thin for me. Meaning, like, a little too crisp. It's a little overdone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think this is chicken barbecue. Oh. Oh. 
Uh, I don't approve of this because it's a used chicken breast. Oh, they use chicken breast? Well, well to us in the States is probably something that's back It's dry. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. This is chicken breast. I don't like that, really. It is the weakest item they have. For 10 cents, though. But in the States, chicken breast is more expensive, but here, it's as expensive as any other cut of chicken. What's that you got there, JP? So this is the 25 peso, 25 peso chicken wing. The 25 peso chicken wing. Okay, looks so relatively hey. big. Stay! Hey. <laughs> oh my goodness. You pull some. Thank you. So much. Yeah, and hey. then you need some fork and spoon to take that down. Snowball. Hey! Out of the way, doggies. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Try it. Okay. Try to get the sweetness. You can taste the char of the charcoal. It's really good. So this is only 25 pesos. These skewers are 10 pesos each, I think? Yeah. So for a bit more. Yeah, for a bit more. You get this uh, chicken wing. Sometimes though, they give you like the breast part that touches the wing, so I don't like that. Have this part. You can use this, I guess. Okay. So I think I got the breast part. I think this is the breast part of the chicken wing. Uh, okay. What the taste? Um. I think, yeah, you're right. This one has more of the sauce on it or something. More of the sauce yeah. so that it doesn't taste as dry. Yeah. But because it has the breast cut attached to the wing, it tastes a little dry for my liking. Let me try these parts here. Mm. Better? I didn't crack the... I mean, the sauce is a bit better. I think it has just a tiny bit of like spice at the end. Just a hint. Pork barbecue is dry. I don't know if it's a part. No. This too is dry. And that's what else she wrote. Um, it is dry here. I'm not impressed by the. Um, regular quote-unquote regular meat um personally i like the isao better chicken isao is the best then the pork isao is is the second best even though personally it's a little too chewy and gosh it takes some digesting to get through that which one the pork, pork isao. isao but those are the best and then the chicken butt the third and then this just kind of uninspired and just so dry so Esau's the best. Yeah. Chicken yeah. Esau by a good bit. So after all that street food, you know what's good? Drinking some Coke. If you don't have any Sago Gulaman, this is the next best thing of Coke. So what did we think about our adventure today? Street food, crawling. It started off really good with the Mickey. And I guess that's the best value for your peso, I guess, huh? Oh, I by mean, far. By far. By far, right? And then the next one was what, Warren? Where did we go next? Milk tea, which uh, I think is a little too pricey. Yeah, Mickey milk tea. Um, and then the nachos, pizza and the nachos, pizza, mediocre. And then yeah. how many dollars? Burger disaster. Burger disaster. Yeah, that was the uh, the low point of everything. And then here, not too bad. You know, Isa was tasty. The but of course the balut was rotten, the balut, rancid. Yeah, the rancid balut was. So good, we did hit a lot of disaster points along the way, which we yeah. expected. Yeah. Which comes you come to expect it out of a small town like this doing a food crawl. Yeah. Not to be condescending in that way, but it's just that well. You but you do want to find some hidden gem somewhere. So, mm -hmm. in case you do find one, um, I guess it's the Mickey. And then the Mickey, was good. We, yeah. the Mickey by far was the best thing we had. And then 
Um, the next best thing. The barbecue. You think it's the barbecue? It has to be because I mean, for me, for me um, pizza. Pizza was. Whoa! Good. <laughs> yeah. You really? like the pizza? Whoa, whoa, whoa! So then, that's your number two. That's your number two, Angelo. You agree? I'll go with the Mickey. That's number that's one. Number one. Yes, that was number one for me and JP. The one Mickey number two is pizza. Really? Okay, so I guess because of our palates, we know what real pizza tastes like. I guess because Barbecue Angelo... Is, but we took these pizza. guys to real pizza at Smoke! Oh yeah, but they don't like... See, that's like the gourmet type of pizza, right? They're not yeah. used to it. So... Probably Shakey's or like Pizza Hut would probably be... You, have you guys even eaten Shakey's? Sh Shakey's? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, uh, they never had Shakey's pizza. Oh my gosh, so that's oh, yeah, the next no. food blog for us next time. <laughs> These two young bucks have never <laughs> eaten at Shakey's. You have had to. There are a ton of Shakey's in I Manila. Shakey's. You love Shakey's? Pizza, Shakey's, Greenwich. Okay. Yellow Sh Cup. But you've had Greenwich. Mm -hmm. I've had yeah. Shakey's in California, which is the original, not this over here. Theirs is pretty good here. And their party one is like... <laughs> It's like huge. Mm -hmm. I think it's like 400. Yeah. Or something like that. So. I don't know. I just feel yeah. a lot more silent now. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like the silence just went down. Whoosh. You can feel it. Shakies. We got to do shakies next time, guys. Delicious. Okay. So I think in the future blog, these young bucks who have never been to Shakey's Pizza. And you haven't gone to a Shakey's here yet, right? Only in California? No, I've eaten Shakey's here in the Philippines. Oh, okay. It's okay. But we'll see if I can be convinced that it's pretty dang good. All right, Snowy, do you want to put a capper on this one? I have my own Shakey's. No? <laughs> there you I go. Have my own Aww. I have Rest on Warren's yeah. lap. Aww, not I on have, mine. I have my own Shakey's store. There you go, Snowy. You're gonna get some <laughs> <laughs> I put it in the scratch. Okay, Mr. Treasurer, what do we got here? Um, so. 835. 835. Yeah, 835. One. No, yeah, 1,000. I'm 1,002. 1,002. That's 1,002. Yeah. Alright, so we spent our total damage 1,200 pesos, let's say $25 US. Yeah. For all the food that we ate. Even though it's, some of it was mediocre, you know, it's what happens. 24, yeah. But that was good. You had a bowl of soup. We had uh, a pizza, nachos. We milk had, teas? Yeah, four milk teas. teas around. And then burger. We had bur four burger burgers. disaster. Burger disaster. I mean, no, yeah, four burgers. Yeah. And then six. Six burgers because it's buy one, take one. Um. And then some five barbecue for me, some barbecue for Warren, that's four. And then the barbecue chicken wing for you, uh, a good balloon egg for him. That's not bad. There's a grasshopper on my plate. Is that lucky? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a grasshopper on JP's plate. I don't even know where that is. Let's see. Oh. You ran away? Okay. Oh. Oh. So oh, on that Angela. note. <laughs> Jiminy Crickets. Jiminy Cricket. So on that note, I think our food call was pretty dang good and pretty, I don't know if delicious. you guys would find it entertaining. Um, I don't know if I find it on the whole delicious, but yeah, pretty good. Pretty decent. Fun factor was a 10. No, the fun factor was at 10. That's all that counts. <laughs> and so, if you like this video, and let's just take uh, stock of Warren counting money just because. <laughs> By the way, that's my money, so you have to give that back to me. <laughs> so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up as that really helps. Um, better yet, subscribe for more of these food videos. Hey, maybe we go to a town like yours, as mediocre as it might be. We might find some gems for you. Who knows? Comment. And of course, leave a comment below if you know, if especially when it comes to burgers, because, oh man, burgers. Can't find one good here. There's, it, it's impossible to find good burgers in the Philippines, in general, and I'm going to go out there and say it, so then it provokes a ton of comments out of you guys. You cannot find any good burgers in the Philippines, and Warren's shaking in agreement. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, and then subscribe for more content, and then...
Yeah, that's it. That's that's it. I'm I don't so know. So full. I don't know if I'm so full. It's just that I'm yeah. exhausted. Yeah. Okay, this was exhausting. Even though we just walked only <laughs> around the town. <laughs> around the town is practically like you didn't even walk a mile the whole day. But anyway, like this video if you liked it. If you, it'd be great if you could just share and subscribe. That would be great. And until the next time, remember, empire never ended. Hey, Snowball. <laughs>